in the back. Could I have a copy of the video? You'll okay, be able thank to see you. that. We'll start it's not going to be like, um, it's going to be pretty clear cut. So you can kind of see. Can you see? Yeah. So, okay. The neck, you see how this muscle, this line goes here and to here? This is your clavotrapezius. This goes to like right here. So this whole muscle is your clavotrapezius. Then there's another triangle. So here, here, here. here. It's kind of torn right here. here is here. Goes like that. That's your acromion trapezius. I'm sure she cut the and then beneath it, acromion. you have this Those triangle here. You see the line here, and it goes up like this. That's your spinal trapezius. And next to it, up here. This is the serratus ventralis. This. Can I show you the terrace? It makes a T with the armpit. You see the line right here. That's your spinal deltoid. And then up here. Um, Terrace minor is underneath the acromion deltoid. This right here, this triangle, is your acromion deltoid. Underneath it, like he was just saying, you can see your teres minor, this little guy right here. This is your infraspinatus muscle. On your scapula, when you were going over bones, you have your infra. Uh, your infra, if infraspinous fossa and your supraspinous fossa. So this is where your scapula would be. So if you can feel, you can see right here is the top of the spine of the scapula. So down here is your infraspinatus muscles attaching to your infraspinous fossa. And up here, right here you can kind of see it. Underneath the acromion trapezius is your supraspinatus muscle attaching to your supraspinous fossa. So after we get through that, right here is lines. This is still your, your infraspinatus muscle. And right next to it, this big thing, is your teres major, which is covered by your latissimus dorsi, this big thing right here. Did you, the, um, did you cut the in this one? Okay. I thought his mu arm muscles were so good that I yeah. didn't touch anything. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So here is your triceps. You have three heads to your tricep. This big guy down here, that's the long so head notice, like, of the, your tricep. That's how big the, uh, this, this guy right here is here your is lateral head to your tricep. Underneath the lateral head of your tricep, right here, that's the medial head of your tricep. So when you move the arm like this, coming off the clavotrapezius is your clavobrachialis. It's cut right now, but it looks like this. It's your clavobrachialis. Underneath that, you have three muscles. This guy right here, that's your brachioradialis. This big guy right here They're all the same. is your biceps brachii. And then right next to the brachial radialis in the middle is your brachialis. Is that where it's thicker or? That's the part that's connecting it. The thickest one is your biceps brachii. Like next to it a little? This big guy right here, that's your biceps brachii. This little guy in right here is your biceps, or your brachialis. And this little tiny guy, kind of going down the elbow. That's your brachioradialis. So, so the upper, uh, the biceps muscles have the word brachii in it. And your bone down on this part of your arm has your radius in it. I really wish I could see that. So it's coming from your brachii muscles to your radius. That's why it's biceps um, or brachioradialis. Because it comes up here into your, that part of your arm. And then you go to the chest. This is the so here, um, deltoid is here, you can so, see that there's um, like a small line this right here. This would be where the, um, the terrace. Uh, and then it's another separated line, again, uh, right? Minor would be in here. Underneath, oh, these are your pectoralis major. Yep. The this is your and pectoralis yeah, an, pecto anti brachialis. It lays over top of your pectoralis so major. That's why it, it seems like this muscle is separated. So,
but it's just laying over top of it. See, it can kind of separate. But this thing is so And then beneath it, there's another line coming here. This is your pectoralis minor, this triangle. And then this other one, this tiny little guy right here, underneath my hand, that's your xiphi humoralis. Yeah, and off I mean, to the it's, side, it's, that's what covers the terrace minor. So underneath the, the latissimus dorsi, so this here, this flat, like, my fingers underneath, so that's your serratus ventralis. Um, and, and underneath then, that, you know, down into here, you can see this line <laughs> right here. Thank you. It's like a squiggly like zigzag here, line. That's what's covering the this, these above it finance, are your external and internal as well as the intercostal muscles. And, that's what the and beneath it, this down here, your um, external, all, anyway. all of your obliques, external, so, internal, and your transverses. Can't really see the spine. So the top layer up here but is your external right intercostals. Yeah. You really this inner it layer, now. you can kind of see um, it. But, They're your um, internal so, intercostals. Yep, scapula spine. So and then we go down to the obliques. The now you can this, see from the this super outer spine layer, spine how the striations are going down so like this. The, They're the your external obliques. You underneath, more dorsal, you can see the, the infraspinatus striations are going in the, the opposite. They're perpendicular. They're going like this. Um, They're your you internal the obliques. So this one right here is your internal oblique. And then yep. the very thin so layer underneath the internal oblique, the, the striations the are more the straight. Interior, That's your transversus um, right here. This is the so the very uh, innermost so layer of yeah. your obliques and is your you transversus. The soleus, and, then the and then if you put the cat on its back, and then you can kind of see this right line right here separating. Morris, you see the curvature line? You got so that's separating your oblique this, from your you rectus you know abdominis. That but that's the reference point yeah. I was so using for the gluteus. Um, so you got the gluteus maximus. The supraspinatus is underneath your acromion trapezius, see, above the spine of your scapula. But this is the beginning. So if you see the separation right here, muscles. this is your acromion so trapezius. Underneath it is the supraspinatus muscle. Can you see it down here at all? No, because the infraspinatus, or yeah, you actually can. Oh, okay. You see this like this triangle, this white little triangle looking thing right here? That's part of your oh, spine of your scapula. You see it? I think that's everything. Right there? Mm -hmm. So beneath it, this is your yeah, infraspinatus. Yeah, really good, and this like, little tiny part showing up here, later. that's your supraspinatus. And then you the see internal it? is going this way. Okay. And then that would be your Therese major. Okay. Yeah. This one you don't, that's not a muscle you need to know. Which, which direction are okay. And then we go down to the leg. Um, it's not. So on the outside of the leg, yeah, you like, have. It's not always the same, but see it? This right here. Yeah. So going down to the knee, this way, cut, so that's your this sartorius. So it's just like, they're not necessarily And then right opposite, here, this big thing, that's your biceps femoris. Huge thing. The and then you see this line right here. Um, which you can this see is here. your semi-tendinosis. You um, it's kind of underneath. It goes into your, um, in the again, goes be, um, into your shin. But it's kind of like the fat, like the muscle down underneath okay. the, so, the back of the, the thigh. It's your semi tendinosis. Like and then you go to the butt. Any muscle really associated back here, your glutes. So this big muscle right here. And yeah, I think that's everything. But yeah. <laughs> this guy is your gluteus maximus. And underneath your gluteus maximus, right here, you see it, this little guy, your gluteus medius, right? Isn't it? Yes. Gluteus medius. Isn't it? Gluteus, gluteus maximus. maximus. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, they I don't... overlap. Yeah, they kind of, you see kind of, they're overlapping. There's a line right here. And the gluteus maximus kind of overlaps the gluteus medius. Everyone always goes off of this muscle to find them because they're directly above it but you don't need to know what this muscle is. So don't get confused with it, okay? Um, this is the triceps. The biceps so we have our here. So remember the, the biceps, biceps femoris and our sartorius. Yeah. yeah, this is not usually. And then we go on the inside yeah, these are of the leg. Um, All right, you see the, the sartorius again. And the triceps are here. Long it's a big head, flap on this side. It's small on the other track. side, but on this and, side, um, it's this huge flap, this huge thing right here. And underneath it, it kind of looks like a hot dog. 
going across. This, you have yeah, your, this is the pectoralis here, this is the but this is the um, yeah, Abduct, pectoralis major um, is vastus here, lateris, and it lateralis. Vastus medius, and then the rectus femoris. Underneath your vastus medius, you can't really see it, yeah, is your vastus intermedialis. Yeah, and, and this is again, underneath this is that. So any muscle that is being pointed to deep to the vastus medius is um, going to be your vastus intermedialis. It's under that to, one. It's underneath the medius. <laughs> and then this here, this muscle here, this big triangle right here, that's your... Um, and that connects to the clavicle. Yes, sorry, I'm brain farting. <laughs> gracilis, because it's graceful. Yeah, That's your gracilis. Chromio, you can see how I showed uh, you your semi tendinosis on the other side. It's again here. This, this is a your semi tendinosis. Yeah, so um, underneath your gracilis, the, uh, this big muscle here. That's your semi membranosis. Semi tendinous? This big thing right here semi, I say, is your I abductor it's, longus. Semi tendinosis, right? And then yeah, this little thing right here is your abductor. So I think it's membranosis, but. And then was the small abductor next to the longus? I thought that was the big one. The big one is the femoris, abductor femoris. Right. I don't have my list of terms. I'm sorry. Is the longest. No, I just had to go through this. All right. This is the abductor longus. This little guy right here, and this big thing right here is your abductor abductor femoris. And then you go down here. This, is this the, big um, thing right here, it's the calf. It's called the gastrocnemius. This huge thing right here. And if you look down towards the ankle of the cat, you see the Achilles tendon. Off of it, right here, is your soleus. And then in the front, right here, is your tibialis anterior. Wait, so where is the soleus? Lateralis, it's, it's, it's deep to the gastrocnemius. But it comes off of your Achilles tendon. You can see it coming off up to there. Okay. So you, it goes towards the sole of your foot, the soleus. Wait, okay. where is the sartorius? The sartorius is this guy right here. Okay. And on the inside, it's this huge. The huge. Yeah. The bigger. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. And those are the muscles you guys need to know.